family kitchen and today I want to show you my husband's favorite soup all of you should know it by now groundnut soup but my Edo people let me first of all apologize in advance because I'm going to take liberties with this recipe I'm not following the typical native recipe and this is my own spin on it and it's this is the easy easy way not going the whole step by step thing okay so to get started i am using goat's meat i already have that here goat's meat is also my husband's favorite food so here i'm starting with goat's meat i'm going to add smoked fish to this uh stock fish diced homo then in here i have onions <coughs> crayfish this is grinded iru this is one of the liberties i said i'm taking with it this is native uh spice native spice and my chili pepper then to this i will add water this to cook this will be for uh, form the stock that will be the base of the soup that should be okay then i'll stir this in add your salts cover it and let it cook normally since i said this is a quick method normally i would have had this stock available but because i want to show you how i make it from scratch that is why i'm making it if the stock is available this whole process doesn't take more than 15 minutes but let's wait for the meat to cook the meat is boiling so uh let me just quickly show you something this is the ground nuts and this is uziza seed and here i have a pan on fire okay. so what i'm going to do is just to dry toast the ground nuts with the uziza seed that's just to dry toast it so that to give it a subtle flavor i actually have two types of ground nuts mixed in here i have the light one and i have the dark one i believe they both bring different kind of flavor into it one thickens quite well one darkens the soup one is lighter and milder tasting so i kind of like combining the two but feel free to use any type of ground nuts you want okay so let me get this toasting just put it on fire and leave it okay you can see it's toasted you can hear the popping sound so at this point switch off your fire and leave it let it cool down then we'll blend it okay my groundnuts and uziza seed they have cooled down so i'm going to blend that now you can choose to blend it dry but i'll actually add water to this as i told you this is my quick method so let me add water yes that is blended now i'm going to add a few things to it now i'm going to add tatashe onions shombo chili pepper i told you already apologies to my in-laws i'm doing orishi rishi that is not in the normal traditional recipe My meat is already cooked, so inside here I'm going to pour this. To this, I'm going to pour the palm oil. Then stir everything to 
hear that? And again, cover and let cook. 10 minutes, my granola soup is ready. So you see, if you have the stock in your freezer, you can see how easy it is to do. No stress, no wala at all. So let's come here. Yeah, can you see that? Now for the finishing touch, I'm going to add crayfish that is not grinded and a fairy that scents leaves. And I'll just stir this in. Ooh, see how bubbling that is? And I'm going to switch it off. That's it. Finished. So, my delicious groundnut soup. Quick, easy, and my in-laws, try it. You see that you prefer it far better than your traditional recipe. <laughs> Till next time, don't forget to follow my YouTube channel, Lagos Housewife. That is also the name on all social media, Lagos Housewife. See you next time. Ciao.